I, I do oh. want to make like a note about this whole like reminding people to follow thing because I think it's really interesting. Something that I've noticed, it's such a prevalent thing on YouTube. I've been getting into more YouTube stuff lately and learning how that works. And it's literally at the end of every video, you tell them to like the video, you tell them to subscribe. And while I, I, I just don't see that as often on Twitch, I do see it sometimes, but I never tell people to follow. I just assume people know what following is. If they like the content, they'll follow. I just assume I think that people part know. Of the problem in the difference between those two is, right, you could have an entirely different audience two hours later. Yeah. Everybody who was watching at one point at, to, you know, 2 p.m. could be completely gone and traded out for an entirely new audience at 4 p.m. Whereas at 1, 1 p.m. Well, it's just sure the, <laughs> at the in on a, a single video, if you're reminding somebody halfway through or at the beginning or whatever, you know, somebody stuck through until whenever it is that 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 that's happening, you do it once and it's, you know, relatively equally effective. But if you do it even 10 times throughout a stream, depending on how long the stream is and how long that audience turnover is dramatic difference. Um, in, in talking about the YouTube thing, by the way. Uh, one of the best tips I have ever heard, and this is from Tim Schmoyer, is that if you want your video recommended in Discovery, do not do a closing screen like, share, and subscribe. And don't do it at the front. Because every time you do those words, it signals somebody to stop watching. And YouTube promotes videos that have a higher or flat level of engagement, where it's not like a big mm. drop down. So at, if you can keep your... Uh, analytics line straight across, um, then people are engaged for longer. As you, as soon as you said, thanks for watching the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. As soon as you say, thanks for videos, they've closed the window, right? So that's mm -hmm. why you see a lot of people who say, and before I get into the topic, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Now let's talk about it, right? So it, it's buried earlier so that you get that longer watch time because youtube you know they, they were trying to figure out for a long time um what if we give creators uh equipment then the videos are going to be better and then they'll watch longer and the videos got better but there wasn't more watching um and then they decide and there's a whole story about that but at the end of the day what the algorithm looks for is that your overall session time on youtube is the longest it can be and so for your videos to be discovered and show that people are going to spend more time on YouTube, you want your video to be watched all the way through with no skips and no leaving at the end. That's why you want your graph flat. Here's another little stupid thing about graphs on YouTube is if you see a spike in your graph, those are people rewinding and rewatching the video. Um, so if you go to that time thing and it's a big moment, you go, oh, people really like this maybe i should expand this into a bigger video anyway hmm. that's my youtube dump interesting well so but don't you have to say thank you and bye at the end anyways like well, how do you close out a video you just are like hey don't that. forget uh, you know what i need i need more session time on my hey you know if you like this topic you're really gonna love this right click mm. on this video and watch more I the gotcha. session time extends right you lead them so into you the next thing that's exactly right. Or, you know, hey, I did a video about now, uh, this is in-person networking. If you're ready to take it up to the next level and do online networking, this video is gonna help you out. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of understanding what the mindset of the viewer is and how to get them to return. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing, and, I, and I'm gonna stop talking soon, but it's the <laughs> same thing about on Twitch of going, why should I hit follow? What is the value proposition of me to come back and um, there's a great book that talks about all of this. It's called Primal Branding. I highly recommend it. But you can have an elevator pitch that every time you say follow or subscribe, you say, don't forget to follow because you're going to want to be back here next time when I talk about more tips to help you grow your audience. That's the proposition for people to get to follow and now go, yes, I want to follow as opposed to a charity follow. You know what I mean? It's mm. avoiding finality because I think as soon as you plant the seed of finality, then it's your somebody in, intrinsically because the nature of communication and, and assumptions about, you know, like just progress through time. That's the end. You've d defined an end, a cutoff. And we just we work with that. You know, we, we hear that and it then gets built into that moment. And unsurprisingly, I guess people actually cut off there.